Let's go. That shit's weird, nigga. Bunch of dudes in there. <laughs> uh, we got a video to play, though. All right. Probably checked out as soon as I had my son. I never planned to be a mother, but I thought when becoming a mother, I would have a partner. I learned quickly after giving birth that he looked at me as a 1960s, like you cook, you clean, you take care of the child, and I am the provider I work. And so when I would ask for help, it was just flat out no. And I started feeling like a single mother and a single woman in the marriage. I was convincing myself to stay, and it just got to a point where I was like, no, if I'm by myself, I might as well be by myself. I would say I probably check. Ladies, you just saw the video. Is that a valid reason for getting divorced, ladies? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Of course. And All of you think no. okay. not happy. Raise of hands if you guys think it's a valid reason to get divorced. Raise of hands. Is that a full panel? It is. Mm -hmm. All of them. Because she's not happy. See, this is why women are. So, this is the issue. This is the problem. It's already hard enough to find a provider. It's hard enough to find a guy that's going to take care of you, etc. We know from looking at studies that two-parent households are by far one of the most important factors in a child growing up and not being a piece of shit to society. Yeah. Not being a criminal, uh, drug uh, drug user, alcoholic, school shooter, vagrant. Everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, like going it's like uh, you, eighty-six percent less likely to go to prison. Like. The father not being in the household is the one of the leading factors in kids being fucked up. So, a woman having a kid in the child rearing years where, yeah, it's going to suck, right? And raising that kid by herself while not having to worry about bills thinks that it's appropriate to leave the husband, leave the father of the child, and just break up with him and break up the family. And this kind of goes to show this is the issue with feminism. Feminism tells women to prioritize their happiness out of instead of duty. Like, there's a lot of unhappy situations with marriages, but once you got to... Shit, there's a lot of unhappy men out there. You know how many men are fucking unhappy, but got to wake up, put their head down every day, put their boots on and go to work because they got to pay for the bill. They got to pay for this. They got this, that, and the third. You know how many men are fucking unhappy every day? You're at the crib, not working taking care of the kid, cooking and cleaning, legitimately what you do on the regular anyway, let alone you have a man that's now providing for you. You think that man was waking up every day feeling great, feeling happy, feeling, or you think he was feeling focused, feeling like he had to get work done, feeling like he had to take his day serious because he can't fuck around and feel fucking sad for himself because he has a wife and a kid at the crib that he needs to take care of. So this, you think this nigga's happy every day, but you got a nigga that's providing for you. And now it's, oh, I can't get no help. You, I don't ask you for help. I'm doing my half of providing. Why can't, you're not strong enough to do your half of being a mom. So instead of being strong enough to do your half, now you're doing your whole. Now you got to provide for yourself and take care of the kid. Instead of being with a man while he's providing and taking care Please just make it make sense. Please make it make sense. I don't fucking know. A kid, bro. Like, you got a fucking kid. It's called Till Death Do Us Part. I just like, fucking I said that. Oh, my God. I just said that in my last video. Y'all get married? If you genuinely believe in God and the Bible, it's Till Death Do Us Part. Or at least till fucking 18 years old, till the kid's grown. No, 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 no. Y'all don't, y'all be having kids. Y'all not, y'all don't believe in God. You don't believe in the Bible. You have kids before you're married and X, Y, and Z. And that's why all this fucked up shit be happening, man. It's interesting how women want to be married, but they don't want to be wives. And the fact that all of you guys think like it's appropriate for her to divorce the guy just because she's not happy during the child rearing years shows like how, how, how problematic this is. If I selfish. had this, this this podcast... Selfish. is legitimately she's not happy so she gets to leave. Fuck the marriage as a whole. Fuck the child and the family and how the kid grows up. If she's not... Ha you know how many men aren't happy in their marriage at times, bro? You think niggas just up and leave? Come on, bro. In like Poland or Russia or South America somewhere, all the women will say, nah, I'd stick it out. Like, I'd, I'd stick it out, because that's just what women do. But nowadays, like, we tell women to prioritize their happiness over duty and family. You know the worst part? What if the man did that to her? I'm not happy. I'm leaving. Can't pay rent. I'm tired of paying these bills. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm happen, not happy. Though. It does, yeah, happen. does happen. But also, I think, like, You said, well, you said it does happen? Of course it does. How often? 
A lot. <laughs> of course it happens. Did, did you know that women initiate eight Like, that's what I'm saying. You're just fucking talking. Oh, that happens, though. Give me fucking five examples. Show me. Pull up ten videos of a nigga leaving. Like, you just... Oh, that happens where? Oh, it does. It just happens. You guys don't... Oh, my fucking God. Y'all don't know shit, and y'all act like y'all know shit. But also, I think, like... You said, well, you said it you does happen? Y'all don't know shit, and y'all act like y'all know shit. Of course it does. How often? A lot. Did, <laughs> of course it happens. Did, did you know that women initiate 80% of the divorces? It's women. Yeah, that's true. Not but... Men. But. With that also being said, don't also. Well, I see. I'm also about to really contradict myself, but this is exactly why I don't want to get married. Um, nine out of ten times of women gets divorced. What does she get out of the relationship? Money, right? So, with that being said, like, why why would I even get married? Why would I even like do that to myself? That made your argument weak. <laughs> no, it really did. I think you should just be careful who you end up yeah, in a relationship right. with. Really study, Choose really really partner. get to know who you're gonna be with. And if first of all, and wait before Choose you continue, your partner wisely. if it's not even about choosing your partner, just why sit here and talk over each other? Women just sit here and talk. They literally just talk. Like they just fucking talk. Yo. See if if you you need to be able to. I, Mm. I just how do I word this? Before okay. you have kids, you have to communicate. Like you have to. That's know not what I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get out. What is I'm look. It's more like knowing what you are and not gonna look, put up with. The fact that you guys all think it's that it's that. appropriate. The fact that you all can't even explain yourself as to why. They all agree, right? That she's not in the wrong for leaving. Legitimately, not one of them can even articulate why. Not one of them. What is going on? We're cooked, bro. Us niggas is cooked out here. This is the type of shit we got to fucking try to sift through, bro. Shorty's like this, bro. I like this one's hair, though. I'm not going to lie. This one over here. I like her hair. Knowing what you are and not going to put up with. The fact that you guys all think that it's appropriate for a woman to divorce a guy because she's, I feel alone because I'm raising a kid. Like... Goes to show how far women have fallen from what they used to be. And it goes to show how, how selfish you? modern day women are. I genuinely think that we are fucked because women are more concerned with being happy. Did not just say that. Fear of missing out and living a certain lifestyle thanks to Instagram and social media that women don't put respect or pride on being a mom anymore. You guys would rather be in your 20s, yep. travel yep. the world, yep. get an education, yep. get a title, yep. and then Only fans. think that you're going to find a guy at 35 years old when you're older, yeah, and like we're gonna take y'all serious and try to have a family with you guys. Yeah. Also, newsflash: your happiness is within you. If someone has to make yes. you happy, yes. you can never truly Thank be you. happy. Yes. So that right there is a fallacy in itself. If you're that not happy with yourself. Why are you in a relationship with somebody? Because exactly. at the end of the day, your traumas and your all that shit, that baggage that you have, it's gonna affect emotional your relationship. Emotional damage. Yeah, but what I'm trying to explain is that women prioritize their happiness in a relationship over way too fucking much. Yeah. Like. Bro, when you're in a relationship, it's two ways. It's not just yourself. Two ways? No, huh. I'm saying like when you're when it comes to prioritizing, women shouldn't be the only one prioritizing. But notice how themselves. the guy like He's kept up his bills. deal and took care Working. of the house and did what he was supposed to do. Yep. And I'm sure he probably didn't fucking like it either. If but, that was true, she would yeah. be happy. See, this is the problem, right? Like with men, do what you're supposed to do. If that was true, she would be happy house and did what he was supposed to do yep and i'm sure he probably didn't fucking like it either if but, that was true she'd yeah. be happy see this is the problem right like with men do what you're supposed to do suck it up buttercup yep. so don't be a do. fucking bitch Thank deal you. with it as a man fuck you suck it up bro that's what we get you're a man deal with it with women Oh. Well, you're not happy. Oh. Oh. Your happiness is the priority. He's a bad right. person. You should be able to leave and do what, what? you want. Like you guys want to be able to have the authority to do whatever you want, but you guys don't want to deal responsibility. Like this is the biggest issue of feminism. Y'all yeah. want to go ahead and get an education and be able to be free, but at the same time have a nigga paying the bills to take care of you. You want to be able to vote, but you don't want to join the military or you oh. don't want to be having skin in the game. And that's the problem. Right? Y'all want to be able to abort baby? That's a fucking fact, bro. Y'all y'all want y'all degree. Y'all want this. You want your degree. You want to be this lawyer, this doctor. You want all this shit. Go do that shit. But don't look for a nigga to come pay your bills when you're making 100000 a year. Being that hardworking lawyer and being this, that, and the third. Creating that life you created for yourself. Stop trying to look for a nigga now. 
You put all that shit to the side to do what you wanted to do. Now thug it out. Pay your own bills. Go to your own job. Be that own lawyer. Be that doctor. That's what you signed up for. That's what you wanted. You don't get to get all those things and then find a nigga that's going to come take care of you. And you get to just do whatever you want freely and work your little job and make your money. Spend it all on yourself. Not give two shits about what this nigga does or how this nigga feels. That's what y'all be trying to do, man. That's what y'all be trying to do. And that shit's dead, bro. That shit stops, bro. Real shit. That shit stops, bro. Babies and babies up until seven, eight months. Wow. But men have no that. reproductive rights. And this is the this is the, the issue of feminism because you guys want all this authority to do shit, but you guys don't want to deal with the responsibility right. of it. A man's not gonna support something that he doesn't find value in. Simple. Well, I guess that's that though, though that is right. I mean, I don't know if uh, how it applies to this conversation. The point I'm trying to make is that we have women like brainwashed said. to prioritize their happiness. Is literally just talking, like literally just fucking talking, bro. Just not even listening. She's not listening. She doesn't know what the fuck she's looking at. She's not listening. They're just no like penis over everything. Yeah, bro. They're just cooked, bro. We're fucking done. Ah, uh, we're done.